but that was a fail, so let's see who you can get. Anybody say you can dig it today? Hey. Yeah, I love this. This one, you you stick grenades on it. Okay, anybody say Kayla? That's good. Bye bye. Now we had to talk about this. We've got a couple of activities that we're going to work on where we continue on with Excel, working on the chart activities, and working on. Um, the checkbook register. So, I'm two activities. What you ready for, Ben? You ready for PowerPoint? Well, we still got a couple weeks to, to roll before that. Isaac said he was going to be gone yesterday. Sam, did you get that stuff done that I sent to you the other day? I that really good. Yeah, I was like, Follow each of the instructions. Uh, the one that we've worked on before have similar attributes, but there's some additional activities on this one and some additional transactions. One, two, three. Is it careful? y'all started on this while I key in the attendance and then get our next activity started. This should look familiar. You've worked the checkbook activity before. Um, you might want to use one of the ones that you have saved as a comparison. However, the transactions on this one are going to be uh, more numerous in quantity than what you've worked on already. So, what you need to do is read through the instructions first. Get comfortable what you're doing. Look at the transactions. Okay. Read, read, and read again the instructions. Okay. Don't take for granted just because we've worked with these before that this one's exactly the same. So you need to make sure that you read through the transactions, make sure that you record the actual activities and the dollar amounts for those activities. Everybody in Excel? Everybody have a sheet?
got the letters there, Anthony. Uh, starting out right. Mm -hmm.
instead of rekeying this, what can I do? Insert a new loan. Exactly. Just insert a new row. row. Right there instead of six, it's going to shift down to seven. But I don't need it that tall. So. so I actually need to put in in A6. It's not a good check number, but in B6, I need to put in the date. Said that's going to be a new adjusted balance. Put that dollar amount in there. Then I can do the quick and loans um, as I begin putting in my entries. In F7, it asks you to put a formula in there. What does that formula signify, do you think? In F7, it says equals F6 minus D7 plus E7. What is in column D? Your withdrawal. Your withdrawal. So are we subtracting withdrawals or are we adding withdrawals? Subtracting. 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 So that's why there's a minus sign in front of D7. What's in column E? The deposit. The deposit. So we're going to add those. Okay. We're going to add those. So that's why it has subtract and addition. Alright, so let's put this formula in here. This formula is one that we can copy on down through the rest of uh, column F and that will balance will change every time we add money or take money away. So formulas, what do all formulas begin with? Equal sign. You should take that with you everywhere you go. Entry we said was quick and long for 8, 18, 16. Then the next transaction says since your bank account is getting low, glad to receive your paycheck. Paycheck is a deposit of 1594.25. So no check number. That occurred on the 12th also. We reported a paycheck. So that's a deposit in the amount of $15.94.25. And then we can bring this on down. And that balance is going to change every time we have a transaction. It says on your way home, you bought some groceries, you paid with the debit card, report the purchase to Harvey's as $52.96. That purchase, is there a check number associated with it? No, I see you saying checking your head, Sam, to no. It is only a debit purchase. Everybody understands how the debit cards work? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. that is going to be an automatic withdrawal from your checking account, just the same as a check, but it's instantaneous, done through the same network as a credit card. All right, so Harvey's on 10 2.
word. So if you had something to print, go ahead and send it, send it back if you need to print anything. Okay, then you will go. You got yours on the screen. All right. Until the printer's back online, it's the process of urgent. James, just make sure that yours is just on one seat, buddy. Yes. Uh, it says on 10 4. Also, you've got your first pair of pants from Davis and wrote a check for 2190. On the same day. Pants were 2498. Next, it says your monthly car insurance premium is due on the 10th, so you may have a check today. 2191 is my check number. You wrote that check on. And who's our check going to? All state. All state. Because life's in your hands. Good, good, good. And 8510. It says, you realize your monthly. We got that one taken care of. Excuse me. 10 7. Skipping the car hatred. Realize that your monthly car payment is due tomorrow. That's on 10 6. No check there. Who is the bank that has the car loan? Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Together we'll go far. Car payment. Is 415.95. Next one it says you stop by the ATM machine and maybe withdraw $100. All right, so everybody's got the yellow half sheet. Everybody should have a pack of M&Ms. Everybody should have a napkin. Yes. I'll have a napkin. Yes. Open up a blank Excel worksheet. Let's look at the instructions here. This is pretty basic, but it's going to it's going to create the charts that we've been discussing <coughs> over recent weeks. Folks, we're right here at the very end of Excel, so we're looking at different uh, summarizing activities for Excel. All right, ask you to open up a new Excel worksheet, save as M and M chart exercise. So go ahead and put that in your folder when you save it. Go ahead and lay your napkin out on your desk, and I'm going to I'll participate as well. All right, now sort it by the color of each of the varieties there in your bag. You got the peanut butter ones, they're pretty pitiful. They don't have very many pieces in them. Oh, shoot. <laughs> ah. Lord made dirt, dirt don't hurt. All right, on your napkin, go ahead and sort through. Russia, that's the one. That's yours right there. That's how it came out. On three colors. You got no yellow. No. All right, so go ahead and record your colors. All right, so what you're going to do now is record the colors of nine other people. You're going to have ten samples. Would you there? All right, so let's see. So you can circulate through the class, find out the, what you got. You need nine other folks so that you have ten, ten samples there. Look at that. What you got there, Sam? I got four colors. Three. Yeah, I got three. Oh, three. Four. Two. 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 Four blue. Matthew, you have Four blue. Yeah, let me see for a second. Don't you get Matthew? I'm curious to see the difference in 
if you want to change the color to coordinate to select each of the ball, the actual column itself of each of the colors, if you right click it, it'll put the little size of handles around it. Does that work, Darian? Oh, yeah. And then come in the little shortcut menu, choose the last choice format data series. Uh -huh.